Hey drummers, Gary Williams here, your drum set mastermind and creator of the Drum Set Artistry Mastermind Group. I hope you're having a good day today. In this brief video, I want to talk about the Moeller method. Many of you have heard this term. It's a type of drumming technique. So I just want to give you a little background on where this originated from. The term Moeller is the last name of a gentleman named Sanford Moeller. And he did not invent this technique of playing the drums. He actually witnessed it in, by Civil War drummers. So he was back there at the time when he was watching people play outside where there is really no reverberation. The sound literally blows away. They're playing on large rope tension snare drums with tall collar hoops that were made of wood with real calfskin heads. So the drums aren't like today, which have you know Kevlar heads and titanium hoops and carbon fiber snares, so everything just really cuts and pops. So you can always hear the snare drums out on the field today. In those days, they weren't projecting near as much as the drums of today. I'm quite certain because I actually have an old kind of vintage drum and it's, it just doesn't have that kind of sound. Different heads, different composition, different sound. So what these gentlemen would do is they would employ a really large whipping movement in their stroke, the whip stroke as it became known. And Sanford Moeller, in observing this, started to formalize a teaching approach to what this involved. And so the whole concept of the Moeller method is to utilize weight as opposed to strength to create a good sound and to create more volume. And so instead of holding your hands and arms still and then just moving from your wrists, which is a technique of like taking a little hatchet and chopping a limb off a tree versus using a huge movement or a smaller but broader movement involving the wrist arms and sometimes upper arms but mostly lower arms and wrist and fingers and all those things that go together kind of like walking but moving with your hands that was the technique that uh, I started to focus on more in developing that skill of playing with more of a weighted approach I learned it organically observing Michael DeRozier the drummer for heart I used to take lessons from him and he would play with a very powerful whip stroke and so I kind of developed this ability of how to play and get this kind of power. And yet, though I was very comfortable with that kind of power on the drums, um, I wasn't really very comfortable playing the cymbals because the technique that we use for Muller Method is really more applicable to playing the drums and some work on the ride and hi-hat cymbal. But it, uh, generally, your touch on cymbals will be different. I'm not going into detail about the molars. I got the, the, the technique itself. I have some videos on my YouTube channel that go into this. But uh, I did study with Jim Chapin myself, who was a protege student of Sanford Muller. In fact, uh, he got so good at it that the story goes that Gene Krupa used to study with Sanford Muller and then took some time off. And then when he called Sanford Muller to take lessons from him again, Sanford Muller said, I think you should study with Jim Chapin. He knows my techniques as good or better than I do. So clearly, Jim Chapin was the guy that most people know with his DVD, Speed, Power, Control, Endurance. And here's this gentleman over 80 who's just playing amazingly fast, getting all kinds of power and speed and dynamics and total control of his technique. So I studied that method extensively, went through his video, now his DVD, and then of course got a lesson with him just to confirm that everything was on track, and indeed it was. So I will leave a little comment um, actually a compliment that Jim Chapin gave me before he passed about my playing, just so that you can understand that this is something that I'm very knowledgeable about and I can certainly help you. So if you're interested in learning about this particular technique of drumming, then definitely private message me because I can help you learn it. So there you go. That's my little talk on the molar method. And so, as I've always said before, stay nice to yourself, keep practicing, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye-bye.